Looks like the Sleeping Beauty finally woke up. Welcome back to the world of the living, my dear hero. Oh? What is it with that defiant facial expression? You almost look upset, my dear. Should I take that as an insult? You should be glad you're still alive. I could have easily ended you while you were sleeping, oh, so peacefully. Don't you think that graciousness should be rewarded? Come on, hero. You know you want me to better myself. Some positive reinforcement might help. <laughs> I suppose it's obvious I didn't keep you alive out of the kindness of my heart. But you don't have to be so blunt about it. Fine. Have it your way, then. Your silence won't get you anywhere. Except my personal torture chamber. Once I've had enough of your stone-cold facade, I wouldn't mind hearing you scream a bit for a change so far you've always been so brave taken every hit I threw at you without much more than a flinch I want to see what you look like squirming in pain I want to hear that lovely voice of yours moaning and screaming begging for my mercy and trust me darling I will get what I want I always get what I want. You're here now, aren't you? <laughs> I admit, I did play dirty. But in the end, who really cares? Ever since I saw you on TV, I knew I had to meet you. These powers of yours are extraordinary. I knew I needed them for myself. And a hero like you, doing my every bidding, also didn't sound too bad. I wonder what kind of a face you hide beneath that mask of yours. What kind of a boring person you are, away from the spotlight. I've spent hours thinking about who you could be what kind of a job you might work. Now, finally, I get to take this thing off of you. See you for who you really are. Hmm. I have expected you to be hideous, my dear hero. But yet again, you surprise me. What a cute little face you have. Even though your expression could be better. You look so hostile, my dear. Relax a bit. I'm not going to bite you. Yet. Unless you ask nicely. Oh, come now, hero. Surely you don't just plan to sit here in silence until the end of time. Don't you want to just give up that tough act of yours? Let go of all those responsibilities that come with being a hero? Surely, you're tired of it. All those expectations being forced upon you. All those eyes constantly following your every step. Don't you just want to let go of all of that? Your powers are worth so much more than those people allow you to believe. You have so many possibilities. So much you could do if you only realize your true potential. This is your permission to take a break from the silver screen. To do whatever you please for once. Oh darling, look into my eyes. <laughs> what? Are you scared I'll hypnotize you? Come on, look at me. You're still so convinced this is the right path for you. But trust me, I have something much better planned for us. You just have to let me in. The two of us could rule the world if we wanted to. 
Nobody would stand in our path. Don't you agree? Would make a great team. So you're just not gonna give me any reaction? You're a lot harder to crack than I thought, hero. <sighs> I will break you, darling. I don't care what it takes. I will make you mine. I will hurt you in every way I can possibly think of. Do you want that? Do you really believe you will be able to take that? I will find out exactly who you are, everyone dear to you, and I will bring them to you in pieces. Trust me, I have ways to make you stay in line. It would be quite the explosive mistake to disobey me. You will have to follow my every word, unless you want to cause even more pain and suffering. You will have to watch as I destroy everything you love and care about. Maybe that will finally get a reaction from you. You may be strong enough to take physical pain, but what if I destroy you from the inside? Will that still be worth fighting for? Are you still willing to give up everything for the slightest chance of escape? Willing to sacrifice the lives of others and stand against everything you believe in? Or even give up your own safety? If I were to release your identity, would a world like that truly be worth fighting for? A world where all your greatest enemies know who you are, where your family and friends have been eradicated, where there is nothing left of what you once loved? Still nothing, hmm. Ever so cold and unapproachable, as always. Seeing you like this is making me want to wrap my hands around your throat and squeeze until you beg me to stop. Why must you be so stubborn, hero? Tell me, how long is it going to take until you give up this little act of yours and finally realize you're mine? There's no escaping it anymore. You're trapped. I caught you. And I intend to keep you here until you finally change your damn mind. I don't care what I have to break in the process. I don't care how long it takes me. I will make you mine. And at the end of this, you'll be thanking me for it. I will free you from the chains society has put on you, and you will realize just how much you want to be with me. How much you need me by your side. You're not convinced. You will be soon enough, hero. I will make you feel so much pain, you will forget yourself entirely, begging me for mercy, for death. And I won't grant it to you. I will, however, make you a different kind of deal. I'm kind enough to let you join me, darling. And you will be drooling at the thought of me reaching my hand out to you. You will grab it so fast you won't even realize what you did. Your body and mind will be yearning for release, for my generosity. At the end of this, you will have nothing left but me. I will be the only thing within your mind, the only reason you keep going. And that my dear hero is a promise <laughs>